The bird's feet off the yeah. <laughs> solar panel. All right, so you're gonna explain this here to us? <laughs> okay. So, I actually, I've been watching some videos on uh, YouTube. People explaining how goats can't be kept in by hot wire. What kind um, of box is this? This is just a zebra five mile <laughs> box. Um, we don't have maybe three quarter miles of no I'm gonna have a half mile of wire so the fence line so what we have powered it may be maybe a thousand feet yeah we so also have five have strands it. of hot so anyway I always go I kind of probably we could have went with a one mile or a two mile or whatever box but I like to go bigger because it's gonna push the juice you need to get all the way to the end. Um, I always use copper to hook to the wire. We have grounding rods down there. <clears throat> and I bought a 10 foot grounding rod. I cut it in half so I have five feet in the ground down here and five feet in the ground over there <clears throat> at the far end. And I also have this top sixth strand is not hot. It's a ground wire. And it hooks to every single T post all the way down by wire. And it, it may help with the ground if it's actually you know connecting good to it. it may not be, but it is hooked to all my grounding rods. Um, <clears throat> especially in our soil. If you have sandy, rocky soil, or if you have really hard clay soil, sometimes you need to put in extra grounding rods because the uh, you got to be able to complete the circuit no matter where you're at, and if your uh, electricity doesn't conduct through rock, so you have to move your ground to where it will conduct to actually work and 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 zap them. Um, We've actually, we've had them in this pen for several months now. Yeah, it's going Haven't on four Haven't had months. a single escape. Um, they're all really well-mannered goats. Um, I've kept, we've kept what, pigs, we've kept cows, cows we've kept horses. Tried to keep chickens and ducks in electric wire. But yeah, you can see over here, work. that little fence right there. They just walk right through it. Yep. They also have wings. And whether you clip yeah. half the one side, whether you trim feathers on one side or not, they manage to get over. But anyway, <laughs> um, I do five strands of hot. I've seen people try to do three strands, and you just so, leave, you're top leaving one, ground. Yep. And then the rest are hot. Yep. And this pin, we actually made it to where we can, we can have, um, I want this to be the pin for babies and mamas. So we have a, a, a narrow gap here, and then it gets a little wider going up. But we don't have to have this one hot, <clears throat> because most of the goats aren't going to put their noses way up here to, to touch it. But you want it, I, want, I like having a wire at eye level, and then, you know, s several on the way down. And little baby goats, they like to put their heads under things and push. So you know you want to get it down low too. Um, all animals you have to show the wire, otherwise they're not going to know what it is, and they're going to walk through it. But once they realize what it is, they're not going to walk through it. But um, I'm hoping it's also going to keep things out. And we um, have a very healthy a coyote, coyote population. population. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of coyotes, a lot of. Whether they're feral or not, a lot of dogs running around. We so we are, definitely want to keep uh, keep them out of our goats because yeah. we don't want to make a meal of our goats. Our daughter saw a uh, bobcat too. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff around. Oh. But um, I also have, oh yeah, here, and periodically down the fence line, I have 
this is the hot wire so it's got a it connects it's, it's copper it's i always connect things with copper and it goes all the way down to the bottom to bottom connecting and at each end and probably halfway between here and the end i also have um copper wire going down like that also um i don't buy copper wire i just find it this is laying everywhere tear yeah. down old barns or whatever always leave your your uh plastic on your your, your insulator on whenever you're going between because you know if this bumps up against that you don't want it shorten out they also make a a, a device a, a lightning arrester <clears throat> and the lightning arrester actually attaches to your hot wire and your ground one one attaches to your hot wire and one attaches to your grounding rod because it's it's a little um, device that has a, a gap that this just the power that's in this won't jump but whenever the lightning strikes it it actually jumps that um, gap and puts the lightning to the ground instead of uh, destroying your fence and blowing up your box because of lightning struck strike will literally explode your box but it'll blow up the lightning arrester too but it's better to replace a eight dollar lightning arrester instead of a two hundred and fifty dollar box and as you can see these guys they all know what it is and they keep a healthy distance from it matter of fact you can help you can hold a handful of feed right here and they'll come up close but they will not come put their head yeah. through there to see she wouldn't even feed. yeah she shook her head out she's like i'm not trying that <laughs> but you go all the way down here and it connects to the um, post and actually have it jumping where the gate is they make a real nice insulated wire to bury underground and go from one fence side to the other. <clears throat> I didn't do that. I just ran a piece of insulated copper. Spread the ground ground overhead and then hot under uh, just stepping over it. It's not like we're driving through it anyway. Yeah. I like electric fence too because you can you can space the T the, the T posts or those little red posts however you go that you can space those up to 25 feet apart. If it's high tension, I think you can go a little further than that. But most of mine are 20 feet, just so I don't have any sag in the wire. Also, if you're going up and down hill, you need your wires a little more frequent. Your, your posts a little more frequent to, to change directions. But see right there, it got a little close to the ground, but this this fine. Grass is touching it a little bit in some places. I probably need to go through and trim, but it doesn't do too much to it. Here's why, and this is kind of a lazy way to do it, but it's. It still works. It's uh, copper, and I went ahead and ran it because I have a two-wire wire here. I went and just ran two strands to where it gets all the energy it can transfer from one side to the other. And then again, I've got ground with the grounding rod down there, and then the ground wire goes up and over. That's the gate. And these posts are really, really overkill. Mm -hmm. I only did that because they were here. They were here, and actually, this one already had this gate attached to it. I pulled it up from somewhere else and then put it here. I had to add this little piece of swinging cattle panel just to put it under because some of the smaller ones will shoot under there. I doubt Chica will. Yeah, Chica's She's a big girl. She's a big girl. I don't know if she could, she'd have to lay on her side and scooch. Yeah, that's Miss Chica. Hi, Chica. She's smiling at us. How you doing today? And that's her daughter, Antelope. And we've currently dried everybody up right now because every... Oh, she's smiling too. Hey. 
Everybody is pregnant. So I like these little <laughs> hockey puck looking things. Just wrap a wire and yeah. it's easier and stronger. And you connected this side of the fence with this and it comes along the ground. You left your insulator on it and hooked it up to the other side to power the other side of the fence with the same box. And one day I might dig a little trench right there to put that wire underground. But like I said, we don't drive in and out of it, so no. it's not really any issue. Nothing's going to damage it. These guys don't mess with it anyway, so no. we're pretty good. Alright guys, well, hope you enjoyed the video and we're going to tell you goodbye and hope you have a great day and see you later here at 8B Southern Living.